Hey friend, at long last, it is my part of the best friend challenge. Um, so, I'm just going to go ahead and get started because I went on a couple of rants when I was writing out my notes last night. Um, how slash when did you meet? Her answer was correct, so there's not much to add here. We've only, it's only been a few years since we re-met, so there's not much. I mean, it would be bad if either of us got it wrong. Um, if your friend could go anywhere, where would it be? She said, London. I mean, I don't know if I have any one particular place that I would want to go. So, sure, yeah, that's, that's a good one. Um, I'd like, I'd like to see the sights, hear the accents, maybe bump into a British celebrity or two. And I bet that's her answer, too. Uh, favorite color? Her answer was purple or dark purple. Go with your gut! It is dark purple, although I do have a growing appreciation for pastels. Um, and hers is totally lime green for sure. Um, what is your friend's biggest fear? Bugs? Butterflies? Okay, story time. We were coming back from vacation the other day and playing the, you know, the usual car games. Would you rather... My mom asks me, would you rather hold a tarantula or go into one of those butterfly rooms for five minutes? She says, any normal person would not have to think hard about this. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Alright, and hers, I don't know. I know a lot of things she's afraid of or creeped out by, but I don't... Like, the Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared uh, time one. But I don't know specifically her biggest fear. Um, let's see. Favorite season? Kind of a trick question with me. My favorite season is the Christmas season. Christmas is life. But since that falls into winter, I'll give it to her. For Kate, I'd probably say winter or spring. Uh, spring? I think I recall something about her liking that one. Um, and what is your friend bad at? Directions. Yeah, you got me there, pal. Um, I can't even give directions to my house to people who live in my neighborhood. Um, Kate is bad at not much, really. She thinks she's bad at some things, like drawing, but she's really not. So I would say she's bad at self-confidence. Ooh, deep. Um, does your friend still watch cartoons? Heck yeah, but only the best ones. And Kate does too. She even admitted in the video. Ha! Giving me, giving me the answers there, are you, pal? Alright. Um, least favorite movie? Zoolander 2. Okay, let me tell you. So I went to the Dollar Theater at my school, expecting to see Star Wars The Force Awakens, and they were like, whoops, change the schedule on you, enjoy Zoolander 2. No! That was the dumbest. I was pretty sure it was supposed to be a comedy. But I never found anything funny in it. I was just thinking, you know, I could be... I could be revising essays right now. You know a movie's bad when you'd rather be doing schoolwork. Anyway, about an hour through, I just gave up and straight walked out of the theater like, you know what? I don't have to sit here and take this useless waste of my time. I'm sorry if you like that movie, but that is my personal experience with it. Kate's I don't know, I mean, she's right, it's not a normal topic of conversation, as if anything we talk about really is, um, but still, I'm pretty sure she would not want to watch the Minions movie. Correct me if I'm wrong. Also, sorry about my voice, I have allergies. Uh, number nine, favorite drink. Wrong! Well, I will concede that Diet Coke is my favorite soda. My favorite beverage is, hands down, strawberry lemonade. She, she, she's never been to Red Robin with me. They have the bottomless strawberry lemonade there, and if I ate there more often, I might just put them out of business. 
I feel sorry for the wait staff because they set the glass down and turn around and boom, it's gone. Lemonade, strawberries, maybe even ice. I can go through six or seven of those easy. Now Kate's more of a classic Coke type person and I respect that. Um, but I think she secretly drinks fancy olive oil. Alright, number ten. Favorite food. Pizza. No. It's lasagna. I would have also accepted coconut shrimp, but not pizza. I do like pizza, but it's not one of my favorite foods. Now, I know Kate's. It is macaroni and cheese. All the way. Um, a favorite movie series? She got me on that one. I am a huge token ner Tolkien nerd. Just waiting until I get the opportunity to do the ultimate marathon of all six extended editions. Um, Kate, I don't actually know. She said I don't know it. My guess was going to be James Bond, but she said that was only a very close second. So I'm just going to have to live with that. Um, number 12, favorite YouTuber. Bill Lester, that great ball of sunshine. And appropriately, and appropriately, I think hers is Dan Howell. If you don't know who they are, I'll leave links in the description so you can check out their channels. Um, number 13, music genre. I am so that meme of the sweet mom lady who's like, okay, you can get, yeah, okay, you kids go have fun. I'll just be listening to my tunes. Kate has similarly weird taste in music, but I'll say that she listens to one genre that I don't, like, at all, which is country. I don't have anything super against it, it's just not my cup of tea. Um, and your favorite thing about your best friend. First of all, aww. Um, my favorite thing about Kate is that she's always supportive and willing to try new things. Like, if I find something new that I think is really cool, she'll listen to me and go on about, listen to me go on about it. And then want to check it out and probably end up loving it too. It's just great to have someone that will meet new things with the same enthusiasm and excitement that you have for them. Um, and that's it for the best friend challenge and I'd like to put up a reminder that we only have 23 days left in our subscriber challenge and we still need at least 13 more subscribers to hit our goal so please if you're new to this channel like and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more. Alright, bye! Bob's away.